Hey, hi. Today is chore day. Um, living in a yurt with no running water. Um, well, we have running water, but it's not hooked up to septic, so we have to refill it. Um, so that means we have to go elsewhere to fill our water. So basically, we'll show you guys later, but once our waters are empty, we drive to go fill them and then we come back and fill them up and start all over next week. Usually we have to do water filling about once a week. So it's never really much um, trouble and we don't mind it too much. I know that's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but we don't mind it. Okay, so we just filled our water. They're in the back seat and we drive very slow because if one tips over, I guess I'm not really sure what would happen. So very slow is the way to go. <laughs> best um, companion to fill water with. It's Boz. <laughs> Boz, look at the camera. Look at it. He's very concerned about not tipping the water. Okay, we've got our water. Generally, we keep these both full. We put one under here in our handy dandy water dispenser. <laughs> um, this dispenser does hot water, cool water, and cold water, which is really cool especially for like tea and stuff like that, it's instant. Um, so, that's that. We also didn't want the big filter that has the big blue jug on the top. So this one's actually really nice, works really well, and we're very happy with it. And then over here, we've got our extra sink water. So this one just goes under here and awaits the next fill. Basically we use this one to fill this one. And then when this one's empty, we go fill it and the process starts over. Okay, chore number two, um, laundry. So this is our laundry bag. Matt actually made the handles for it. He just put some little, um, eyelids don't remember what these are called put some of these in tied the rope tied a knot to the other side um, so we can easily throw it over our shoulder and take it to the washer and dryer our washer and dryer system is short walk away um, so this makes it convenient and easy for us to walk it there maybe let's just go on a walk and I'll show you what that looks like. So we've got our laundry bag and we're gonna walk it to the laundry room and here is the path. So I think we'll talk a little bit more about this later, but we do live on a resort. So we are able to walk our laundry and do things like that to the main building and do laundry there. And there is running water in there. So it's pretty convenient and it helps us to be able to live in the life we live. Okay, so the laundry is in. Next up is garbage. Um, so our garbage situation, 
it's a little bit different in the winter than it is in the summer. Um, we have to drive our garbage about 15 miles to where we um, dump it. So we generally like to kind of stack up our garbage as much as we can, we let it freeze, and then we bring, um, you know, five or six bags at a time, which is really um, time saving for us. Um, so yeah, we will take you guys to the dump. Um, in the summer, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit closer, so that's a lot easier. But um, in the winter months, this is how we have to do it. Minnesota on the border of Ontario and Minnesota um, we're about well, we're on the Gunflint Trail which is on the edge of the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness um, if you don't know what that is you should google BWCA um, and check it out it's one of the, the most unique probably the most unique canoe camping wilderness in definitely the United States possibly the world um, so yeah. Okay. Um, the next question we've had people ask a lot on our videos where our bathroom is. Um, people seem to be really concerned about where we're going to the bathroom. Um, so we do have an outhouse. It is a holding tank, so we will get it pumped eventually whenever it's full. It's not quite finished yet. It, the structure is up and. Um, the wiring is brought to it, but it's not finished yet. So um, we were planning on doing that soon, and we're gonna do a whole video on building the outhouse and um, also, that sort of thing. It's also been about 20 below for the last yeah. month, so working outside, it's not super exciting. We were able to get the shell up. We were able to get the tank put in place, buried, and put the shell, uh, the actual, structure up with a roof so basically it's a framed in building with a roof and no door and no hole cut so you can't we could use it tomorrow if we wanted but we don't have the door on so um we're gonna insulate it and uh put some paneling inside and some nice flooring there'll be a heater in there and a light and a plug-in so as much as it sounds like an outhouse it'll be pretty luxury um but as far as going to the bathroom, so we live on, we're, we're uh, partly own and operate a resort and an outfitter, like I was saying, for the Boundary Waters. Um, so we have, I mean, that's the reason we're in the position we are and able to build a yurt and do all these cool things like that. Um, so we have a whole lodge that has a dining hall and bathroom and laundry and we've got three or four cabins we rent out in the winter. So. We've got places to go to the bathroom, which is not as convenient when you have to walk, you know, a couple hundred feet through the woods. Um, when it's negative 20. So you plan, a, plan accordingly. Um, yeah, so I, I touched a little bit on that when we were showing you guys the laundry situation. Um, we've got a main lodge with running water, um, so we just walk our laundry there. Not a big deal. Super easy for us. Again, we know that not everybody would love to do that. Um, but it has worked great for us and we don't, it doesn't bother us at all. Um, I don't, what other questions? Um, it would be interesting to hear other, if you have questions, definitely post them in the comments. Um, we're happy to share our experience or why we chose this and how we got to this spot. And we can even do a, a video on who we are and how we got here and, and all that stuff. But um, as far as you guys know, we're just, living in here in the woods and we do fun little projects. And yeah, so this is kind of what our drive looks like.
Okay, we made it to the dumpster. Um, so this is our specific dumpster. We've got the boxes on it for bear and other animals. In the summer, obviously, it's for the bears. They're not here right now, so that's not an issue. Um, yeah, so we just have to drive our garbage here, put it in the dump, and um, away we go. And then generally we like to make it convenient, so we also have our cardboard for recycling and we will drive to that place next. Okay, so we're at the cardboard trailer. It is not ever that full. Um, great news because that means everybody's recycling their cardboard. Um, generally we just have to break everything down and walk it to all the way in the back and pile it up as much as we can so that it has to get emptied less often. Um, so yeah, this is where we bring our cardboard. This is about 15, 20 minutes from our yurt. So um, like I said, we try to make it one stop shop and do garbage and cardboard all in one um, so that we don't have to drive too far too often. <laughs> 